Hi everybody, welcome to another video. So today we're having a look at the Aero Pro A610 and we're pitting that up against its older brother, uh, the R500. Now we're using it for base coat, both of them are going to be used for the same base coat. Uh, I did an unboxing video of, I can't remember, it was, no it was a 610, of the 610 and we did a little spray out comparison against the r500 and these are these are quite different so i'll put a link in the description so if you want to that goes more into the mechanical side because from the factory these things are filled full of grease so have a look at that because uh, it's a good idea to remove most of that just in case it goes through uh when you're spraying if you're spraying something you spent a lot of time preparing and you get a little bit of grease come through because it is air it is air side so to speak if you, if you get a bit of grease coming through it'll ruin your um ruin your product well certainly create you more work anyway so have, have a look at that if you get a chance if you haven't already seen it but we're comparing the the function of these two today now uh, i did these separately as in base coat and not clear coat as well and there's a good reason for that because when you see the patterns the two patterns you'll see that the r500 actually produces quite a wide pattern very much what you would call or what today we call an eye pattern um i mean years ago you used to i used to call it a long pattern or a, or, or a, a short pattern and then that was only like what five six years ago and that was simply because i uh, sorry sata hadn't bought out their i and o version of the x5500 um and ever since they bought that out i thought oh yeah that's actually quite a good uh, way of putting it so i often say i and o and that's where it come from but it, it's very much an eye pattern and you'll see when you see the um the 610 it's very much a, a small o pattern now i've said it on a couple of my videos i'll say it again because it does come up a lot people seem to think the the bigger the pattern the better the spray gun is or will be and it's not always the case now how i found it and there's no uh, there's no technical background to this it's just how i have found it i have found that an eye pattern tends to you know you, you're governed by your tip size so if you've got a 1.3 tip size unless you're cheating like sata do and put 1.3 and it's actually not 1.3 uh, the reason for that is I've just got a, a CC tip set uh, for a, an X5. I know I'm going off course here a bit, but I've got an X5500 uh, SATA and I bought a CC tip set. You know, the new tip set is supposed to give you, um, you know, a flatter finish. Uh, and looking at that, it's supposed to be a 1.3 and it looks smaller than a 1.2. So I've actually ordered a precision hole gauge that goes down to 0.9 millimeter and i'm going to see how big it actually is uh because they definitely they definitely don't put the right markings on them they just put whatever they feel like i think uh, whatever whatever suits marketing department i would think is probably the best thing so these are both uh sorry one is 1.2 and one is one uh, sorry i'll start again one is 1.3 which is this one the r500 and the other one you'll see later is a 1.4 now you'll only get you know if nobody's cheating on their tip size you will only get a certain amount of material going through that tip because of the size of the tip you know you, you just can't draw loads more now the amount of air going through the cap will draw more through it so you can get varying amounts going through that size tip but when it comes to comes to it at the end of the day you will only get so much through a tip of a certain size so when you look at a, an eye pattern and people say you know oh it, it it's i sprays better because it's an eye pattern and that they seem to be very keen for this eye pattern um well if you've got an eye pattern that say for example it, it's 14 inches um wide so what's that 350 millimeter if you're a metric if it's 350 millimeter wide you will only get a certain amount of material in that whole eye so that the whole pattern will only have a certain amount of material so what it will do compared to a more o pattern or a more squat pattern it will be drier 
so the O pattern will be wetter and the I pattern will generally be drier, you know, tip size and everything being the same. So what I found is that the I patterns actually work really well for base coat. Uh, it depends which base coat it is, but for more complex colours, you know, metallic, silvers, things like that, I think the eye patterns seem to work better. And I think that's because it, it's putting less, uh, less of a wet pattern down. And it just seems to be easier to, you know, blend in colours and, and match colours, etc. with an eye pattern compared to an O, which puts it on wetter. But when you come to clear coat, and that's again, as I say, why I did this separately to a clear coat video. When it comes to clear coat, I'm certainly preferring the, the smaller, wetter patterns. Now, some of that's going to be down to the clear coat you use. The better the quality of the clear coat and the easier that it runs out, you'll find that it will, it will start to... Um, the eye pattern won't be so... Um, I'm trying to look for the right word here. The, the eye pattern, it, it, it's, it becomes less of a burden to have an eye pattern, uh, the better the quality of the clear coat, because you can get a... A thin film of clear coat down with the better quality clears and still get a nice run out if you're using some of the cheaper clears you need to put more material on to get the flow out which gives you obviously the smooth surface because don't matter what gun you're using you're always going to get some kind of um, orange peel but you will get less the more material that's on and can flow out so each little droplet flows out into each other which gives you the smoother surface so because the r500 is an eye pattern and i know i've missed the whole of the r500 and haven't really talked about it but we've still got some of the uh, video left right so when you talk about the r500 it's very much an eye pattern so i think it suits base coat better than the a 610 which is what we're doing now but when it comes to clear coat i think probably the a610 is a, a better quality gun now both uh sorry or gives better it's easier to use um or easier to get a, a good clear coating if that makes sense so it's easier to get a, a flatter finish which is what most people seem to want so these would work actually quite well i think in combination the r500 as your base coat gun and the a610 as your uh, clear coat gun and bear in mind that the, both of these aren't particularly expensive uh, i think i paid about 40 gb pounds each for these so I've been testing, and I'll try and put a link in the description. I've been testing some porpoise uh, guns, which are Chinese guns, but they're sort of like a quality Chinese gun, and they're, they're definitely a, a, like a, a, a complete price change from these things. I mean, they're not, you know, they're not the same, not the same price as a Sata, but they're definitely a lot more money than these. So you can't really compare. You need to compare like for like. If you're comparing something. You've got to have sort of certain parameters, and one of them is definitely going to be the price. So these two together, if, if I was to, and I do get asked if, if, if I was to say, if somebody said, well, you can only have one, which one would you have? I would probably have the R500, especially if you're uh, a beginner, because you will find it easier to use. You'll, be, you'll find it better for base coat, uh, and you'll also find it um, easier to use than the a610 with the a610 and i i have done a clear coat comparison but i i didn't because the r500 i i felt wasn't quite as good as the a610 for base coat i actually picked the a610 against uh the nve which is again a, a, a slight price up um it's a it's a it's a cheap dv1 copy really I mean, it hasn't got DV1 De Vilbis written on the side, but that, that's the styling they took from it. It does differ, actually, the way it's made, but that's the styling they took. And I put the 610 up against that, which I thought would probably be the, uh, the better test for it. Um, and it was only, I think, the third time I was, I'd been using the 610, and I got a slight bit of sagging where I just put too much material on because I was using it at full fan. Uh, if you back the fan off, it actually gives quite a nice wet pattern, which I find better for clear coat. So if I was pushed into a corner and, and, and asked which one 
if you could only add one, one, I would go for the R500, I think. Um, but if you can afford two, I would get the two and use this this one, the 610, as the clear coat gun. You can see, although it's um, a smaller pattern, it actually doesn't lag behind, really, time-wise. Simply, and the panels are the same, simply because it, it's quite a wet pattern, so you can move quite quick which again suits clear coat better um engineering quality wise both these are actually quite well made they're made by uh wrong pen as far as i know although they're sold as the aero pro guns they're made by wrong pen which is a big chinese company apparently i didn't know this until people pointed out and i, I looked into it more and, and it, it, it is true they wrong pen make these things under their own brand name uh, I also got a wrong Peng R100, which I will mention because it's a pile of rubbish, absolute pile of rubbish. I'll put a link in the description how far I've got with it, and I have done a, a video using it, and, and it's not particularly good at all. So don't get confused and think, well, I'll buy an R500 as the main gun, and I'll have a little R100 as a mini gun because skip the, the R100, it's, it's absolute rubbish, really is rubbish. Um, so yeah i mean i would i would go for the r500 uh, as a, a general all-purpose gun uh if you're going to buy the two then get the 610 for the uh, the clear coat if you're using a good quality clear coat you you will, you will get away better with the r500 as i've already explained but engineering quality wise if you look at the other video it does go much more into de detail of that but they're quite well made for the amount of money you're paying they are quite well made another thing someone asked the other day actually was um are they okay for for solvent you know i, I was still up to the business of dealing with um solvent paints and cleaners and the answer is yeah i i haven't used these loads because i've got loads of other guns to you know not wishing to sound flash but better quality guns that i i would normally use and prefer to use um but yeah I, i've used these with solvent products all the time I clean them in normal uh, gun wash thinners, absolutely no problem at all. I've had no leaks or anything, and they don't, they don't tend to make me think they are going to. I was a little bit, on the R500, I was a little bit perturbed that some of these cheap guns you get, they're literally made using uh, Loctite, you know, things are just Loctited in to, to, you know, for your first spraying experience they'll be fine, but after that they just go and you start leaking uh, and you try and take them apart and you end up with uh, you know loads of Loctite everywhere and then when you try and put them back together they don't seal properly but I haven't had that problem with these things at all I did take them apart just for the purpose of the other video but you'll see it's quite stark the differences between the two but don't write the A610 the one on the right don't write it off uh, just because it, it hasn't got a big pattern there are uses for it but both of these both of the I mean to they, they're very very good value for money both of these produce really good results um, for the sort of you know the money you're paying for them certainly no problem with with either of them really as far as base coat goes but I, I think the the R500 would definitely suit, um, you know, somebody that's new to painting. And I would suggest somebody buying guns at this price probably are, is new to painting. Um, would probably suit you better just, you know, with the ease of it. It doesn't look as modern as the A610, but it, it's always form over function with me anyway. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video as always. And if you are enjoying the videos, maybe think about giving us a, a thumbs up and maybe subscribing to the channel. Thanks as always guys for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.